everyone this is nafiz and you're watching the vision 2030 so in this video we are going to discuss about the world's smallest or the thinnest memory device so you know about the memory devices there are lots of storage memory devices uh, we have in the market so generally even we do store memory how do we store we store memory in our brain you know about the brain so there is no comparison between the human brain and the storage devices but let us uh, compare the storage devices right from the previous century to this and uh, how it works and uh, what is this new storage device and what changes it can bring in the electronic field so the first thing you should know is the different storage device which we have used before and uh, which the days before us before we born their people used storage devices what kind of devices they used and how much of memory it could have stored all those things in detail we are going to study okay so let's come right from the 19th century in the 19th century is the time when people first started storing the memory electronically that's a very small memory which they successfully stored in a, in something called as punch cards punch cards in punch card the memory which can be stored was 0.08 kb hardly some 80 characters could have been fit in that not even something like it a tweet just 80 characters that has happened way back in 1890 after that there are lot of things has been changed these punch cards were not completely electronic later the full fledged electronic storage device which has been made is in 1932 when there is a device called as magnetic drum a magnetic drum you can see here this magnetic drum can store 48 kb of storage that's 48 kb that means something like around some five documents uh you can store in that not more than that that's happened in 1932 as i said you so then after around 20 years in 1951 what has happened is now the magnetic drum been changed into magnetic tape magnetic tape so this in magnetic tape the storage bit increased to 231 kb 231 kb what can it store around some 10 pdf that's it later in 1956 we came up with hdd hard disk drive so not the hard disk what you see today in the computer not that much the first hard disk can store only of 3.75 mb yes i am right it's 3.75 mb hardly can store 1 mp3 song or a very small low resolution video of some 40 seconds or something that's it then uh we came up with after in 1982 i hope you have seen this this was there in our childhoods when we have seen and still they are in the market that's compact discs cd so that's been first made in 1982 so this could score store some 700 mb of memory 700 mb yeah some right some low resolution movie can be stored in that a small movie or maybe something like mini mini two disc you might have seen in your childhood or something you might have seen some cds storing some videos uh, the mp3 songs all those things that can be stored in compact disc so we increase now we came up to some hundreds of mbs then later on hope you have seen dvds in 1995 the dvds came into existence dvd could able to store little more compared to cds that's almost around 1 and 1/2 gb of the storage where we can easily store even uh, uh, good resolution movie in the uh, in the dvd you might have seen a dvd storing multiple movies also of low resolution so dvd can uh, store so you know you might you have seen the size of the dvd or the cd the disc also then later on in 1999 in 1999 the sd cards the sd cards what we are using today also those sd cards came into existence now what happens right from a disk of this size it has reduced into a small sd cards 
very small size sd cards but sd cards started replacing these dvds or cds successfully that's mainly because of the reduced size the sd cards you have seen that right now also we have sd cards of very small size so those uh, cards usually in the beginning the size was a bit bigger uh, but even the compared to disk it was too small and that could store a good memory but in the beginning when the first sd card been made the sd card could able to store 64 mb of data yeah I am saying 64 MB, not 64 GB, which you might be using right now in your mobile phone. Some 64 GB, 32 GB, 128 GB, we use the gigabytes we use. At the beginning, 64 MB, 64 megabytes of SD cards has been. Many of you who are watching this video might have used that. Even I have used memory cards of uh, around 320 MB or something. So that, so then the complete revolution has taken place when these small devices started storing the device we can store with uh, by using the semiconductors by using the superconductors we had uh, made it possible to store lot of memory into the small space that's been possible because of that only today we are having the smartphones to the smartphones you can uh, connect to the whole world with the technology thanks to these techniques otherwise imagine with that storage being done something like magnetic drum or a punch card what you would have got it no not so but now what we are i am speaking about is the next revolution what has taken place in this technology what's next to this now you might be using some sd card some micro sd card also you have seen that the, but the next generation what we have uh, developed right now what we are developing and soon it will be in market is still smaller so it, this device the world's smallest memory storage device is of a size of one nanometer for an atomic size a nanometer Probably you know the nanometer. So nanometer is 10 raised to 9 meter, 10 raised to minus 9 meter. So it's what's 10 raised to minus 9 and 9 zeros. So 6 zeros is a million and 9 zeros is a billion. In the sense, one billionth part of a meter. If you cut a meter into one billion parts, the one part is one nanometer. So of that size the device has been made which can store the memory and it can store a very huge memory where you can't uh, uh, imagine so it can a one square centimeter of this can store one terabyte one tb of storage one terabyte one square centimeter of that so usually what is used to make that there is a metal called as molybdenum molybdenum being used here to store that and uh, this discovery will lead to lot of such further uh, changes revolution which can make your devices still thinner slimmer smaller so whatever you faster smarter it can increase how it can first thing it can reduce the size the size of the devices will get reduced as the storage device maybe your internal storage or your sd card size is going to reduce then devices size can be reduced yes micro devices can be made then it can in save the energy it will be energy efficient so like what your battery of the mobile or the laptop or the whatever the electronic devices you are using so this when we can store lot of memory in a smaller device it will be energy efficient low energy will be used that means you will get so much battery life to play the games or whatever and hope we'll see this revolution very soon in our life uh, probably in the next year the 2020 has got over in 2021 we may see these things we may see some compact devices available in the market uh, let's hope for the best uh, thank you so much for watching this video Please like, share and subscribe for more such videos.